<laughs> I'm not the whole panel. You're stuck with us in serial um, to talk a little bit about something I think you all will feel is so important. And I first just want to say, hi. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Larry, and all of you for teaching me so much over the years. You know, of anything, it's like I feel like Medicine X is a little bit like a birthday. Like each year I come back and recognize and realize how lonely I feel all year and how you all teach me so much about how to do this better. And that I do feel like I'm growing up on you, Medicine X, and all of you. It's people like Emily Kramer Golenkoff, my now dear friend, but inspiration, who recognize and show me as a mom and pediatrician, and I guess activist, how differently we can do all of this and how we can do it with what we feel. This series of talks and this panel is ultimately about the built environment, something that I didn't really know how to describe before, design in healthcare, and ultimately social justice. My thinking is that this won't be very comfortable and that some of you will feel unhappy and hopefully inspired. But I think all of us hurt as much as I do, living in America right now as a person understanding and exploring my privilege, raising my kids, looking at white supremacists, enduring administrative failures, learning that actually we are born alone and we are born unequally, that not every child in this country drinks the same kind of water, and one in five kids are hungry, and doctors, and nurses, and patients, and parents wake up with lead in the paint on their walls, not knowing it sometimes, scared to go to work, hurting inside, and they don't feel like they belong. We talk a lot about the healthcare that happens inside the clinic and the hospital, how, we, how water sanitation and vaccinations and medicine and antibiotic stewardship really matters. But the far majority of what keeps us healthy and happy and safe is everything else. These amazing voices and all those that they represent and all of you and all of our mentors are here to talk about how we are now and how we will co-design our environment to be happier and healthier with what we know and what we need to talk about. So three doctors on the inside and on the outside of the system of healthcare will come now, present their ideas individually, we'll all sit together, and then hopefully we can have a hearty conversation that begins here. And hopefully next year at MedEx's birthday with one more candle, we'll know in the words of Winston Churchill, that failure after failure, we can have no loss of optimism.